Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Let's take a brief look at the various commands found on the menu bar. We'll go into more detail about their various functions later. This lesson is just to help you familiarize yourself with the layout of the workspace. Keep in mind that many commands can be executed using the other panels and windows within Dreamweaver. First is the File drop-down menu. It contains many of the primary commands used in Dreamweaver. Using the File drop-down menu, you can create a new file, open an existing file, and save your work. The File drop-down menu also contains commands to browse files in Adobe Bridge, import and export files, and preview the open page in a browser. Next is the Edit drop-down menu. It contains several commands that allow you to cut, copy, and paste using Dreamweaver. There are also Select and Find commands. You can also use the Edit drop-down to locate keyboard shortcuts, tag libraries, and Dreamweaver's preferences. Next is the View drop-down menu. Using this menu, you can access zoom features, switch between code and design views, and use Live View. The View drop-down menu also gives access to rulers, grids, guides, and visual aids. Next is the Insert drop-down menu. As the name suggests, it gives you quick access to buttons that you can use to insert common web design elements into the open file, such as tags, images, and links. Next is the Modify drop-down menu. You can use it to adjust page properties, selection properties, and CSS styles. The Modify drop-down menu also contains commands for editing tags and making links. Additionally, you can use this drop-down menu to modify tables, images, frame sets, your Dreamweaver library, and templates. Next is the Format drop-down menu. The commands in this menu allow you to adjust the properties of the text, fonts, and color on your web pages, as well as CSS styles, among other things. Next is the Commands drop-down menu. You can use this menu to record your Dreamweaver actions and then play them back again on future pages in order to save steps. The Commands drop-down menu is also where you will find tools for checking spelling and cleaning up code. Next is the Site drop-down menu. It contains the command for starting a new website. The Site menu is also where you'll find Get and Put commands, as well as the Manage Sites command. Various site reports can also be found in this drop-down menu. Next is the Window drop-down menu. It contains a long list of Dreamweaver's many windows. By checking and unchecking the ones you want visible, you can customize the Dreamweaver workspace in countless ways. It is a good idea to experiment with the window drop-down menu a little until you find the workspace that suits you best. Next is the Help drop-down menu. As the name suggests, this drop-down menu gives you access to various help features. The Help menu also has information on product registration, updates, and various ways to contact Adobe. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.